channel. Today we're going to be talking about the best products that I used in 2016. I was debating on whether or not I wanted to film this because I thought it was kind of late. But shoot, you can always, <laughs> I've been watching them. So I guess people are still watching them. They're still making them. So I decided to go ahead and make mine. I got a little bit of everything. I got some home stuff, some lifestyle, some beauty, skincare. I got a little bit of everything that I wanted to share with you. So if you're excited to see what some of my favorite products were from this past year, then just keep watching. So let's start with like the candle home stuff. First thing I wanted to talk about is this Bath and Body Works Stress Relief. This is one of their aromatherapy candles. This is in the Eucalyptus and Spearmint. Um, this is my second one. It is so awesome. If you've watched some previous videos, I love pampering myself. Um, I try to do it at least twice a month. Um, sometimes if I can get away with doing it more, I will. <laughs> but um, I love lighting that candle and doing some Epsom salt and some bath soaks and just different stuff. That candle right there isn't, isn't so strong where it gives you a headache. But it's just enough of that eucalyptus spear mintiness that you need. It just sort of soothes you and relaxes you. So that is my favorite candle from 2016. Along in the same candle family category, I wanted to share with you my favorite wax cubes, I guess you would call it. Yes, any wax cubes from this pet. You are so rude. <laughs> So I also wanted to share one of my favorite wax cubes from this past year and I always get the Better Homes and Garden from Walmart. This is the Spicy Cinnamon Stick and I know some people only like the cinnamon around like the fall and Christmas seasons. Some people like it year round in their kitchens because it's like an apple-y, cinnamon-y, like a baking kind of scent. So a lot of people like that year round. This is the strongest wax cube I have ever smelled in my entire life like you can smell it outside now so, and, it, and it lasts forever like some of them will last for a good two to three hours and the scent's like really strong but this is strong the entire time like you can turn it off and turn it back on the next day and it is it's ridiculous how strong it is and I've tried quite a bit of them so um I will try to go get some more of these because these are limited edition so I do think they only come out um, I guess like towards fall and winter, but I'm telling you there's another cinnamon stick one But this one the spicy cinnamon stick is amazing. If you have not tried it. It is shockingly uh, Scented next home item is going to be laundry related and it's going to be the Suavitel fragrance pearls These are like the little scent boosters that you toss in to the wash just to give your laundry like a really good smell This one is in field flowers I can smell it through the pack. I don't know why I opened it. It is so strong. And I can tell a huge difference in my laundry. Like, isn't it weird that your mama can, like, wash laundry and it smells so good. And you use exactly what she uses, but it never smells like hers. I don't know what she does different, but I can tell a huge difference since I started using this. Because I don't use, like, fabric sheets in the dryer because it's a fire hazard. So, um, I try to get it smelling as good as I can in the washing machine. So, you know, I'm probably going to invest in one of those dryer balls and start using some essential oil in that, but that's for another day, but I really love this. Next laundry item are these Tide Pods. I have completely became obsessed with Tide Pods. I just got this new bag. I don't think I've ever smelled. This one's Ocean Mist. I've never smelled this one, um, but I love the convenience of them because I always feel like I don't know how much to put in if I'm not putting enough in or if I'm putting too much in. And with those HE washers, if you put too much in, it suds up too much and the clothes don't get fully rinsed the way that they should. Or it'll keep bringing in water, which is not good at all for you to waste all that water. So I think that's very convenient. Those Tide Pods are not that expensive, especially if you can catch them on sale and you have a coupon win-win situation now we're going to go more so into like the lifestyle things first thing i want to talk about is my swell water bottle i actually ordered this one off of the wish app if you've never heard of the wish app it is going to change your life um swell bottles i think are very popular at target and they're like 25 dollars a bottle and i just couldn't imagine paying that for a water bottle um but i wanted one i noticed i had it on wish and i want to say i paid ten dollars for it with shipping maybe 13 which is still less this was still half than what you normally would pay they do have a limited color range but i love this wood grain look um i think it's 
good for a girl or boy. It's Metro. <laughs> Um, but it keeps my water super cold. I fill it up before I go to bed and I leave it on my nightstand. It's ready to go in the morning. It helps me keep up with my water intake. Um, if you struggle with drinking enough water, I think this is very helpful. I was trying to use my Yeti for that same thing, but it's not as convenient because it doesn't have like a twist top. So it kind of could spill if it was knocked over. So I really love this. I can toss it in a bag and go on. Um, I haven't tried anything hot in it because I, in my mind, this is just for water. So that's all that's ever been in here is water and it's going to stay that way. Next up is a company that I found um, in this past year for essential oils. Um, I had used Young Living in the past. I've used um, the Now Essential Oils. What else have I used? I have I have just sort of dabbled, is dabbled a word? <laughs> Into like different companies trying to see the difference as far as um, the quality of it compared to like the price because essential oils can be expensive. And um, so I started with Young Leaving and I got the starter pack and it was like 170, 180 bucks. And um, that came with 10 oils and a diffuser. Well, my diffuser went out on me last year and it was past the warranty so there was nothing they could do about it. Yeah, I was in the market and as I was in the market looking for a new diffuser, I stumbled upon some essential oils and I started doing my research and just seeing about the company and the pricing and the quality of the oil. I'm all for getting something at a budget, but when it comes to quality, I don't want to spend less money for something that's cheaply made or that's like overly diluted like when it comes to essential oils so um i found this company eden's garden i will link them down below in the description box the thing i like about eden's garden they are high quality essential oils they're 100 percent pure but the difference with that and young living is you have to be a um like a distributor for young living or you have to know somebody that sells it for you to order it um, and I don't like that. I'm, I want to be able to, when I want something, I want to be able to get it. And I was a distributor or whatever it's called for whatever amount of time. But if you don't order something within a certain period, it kind of goes away. And I didn't like it. So, um, the essential oils were great. I'm not saying they weren't great, but they were very expensive. First one is Fighting Five. If you are familiar with Young Living, this one is just like Thieves. Um, identical. It smells no different. It does no different, um, which is really good for cleaning the air. It's good for getting rid of bacteria. Um, when I'm cleaning, you can mix this into some homemade cleaners if you want to do that. Um, I diffuse it while I'm cleaning. It helps sort of like purify the air. So that's one of my favorites from them. The next one I'm going to talk about is Hedy's. This is a Synergy Blend. I have a lot of headaches. I get a lot of problems like sinus headaches and different stuff. And I'm one of those that if I can get rid of something without taking any medicine, I'm going to go that route. Because there's all kinds of crazy stuff in medicine. And I don't want to be that girl that gets sick because I took medicine. You know? So this one it has... It has basil, chamomile, frankincense, lavender, peppermint, rosemary, sweet... A word I can't pronounce. Marjoram? Marjoram? <laughs> and wintergreen this is like the best thing i will put it in my diffuser and i'll go to my relaxing room which is this room which is the den that i'm in and i will just chill out and turn the lights off and i'm telling you my headache goes away i also bought some little roller balls um like the bottles and i'm gonna make me a little blend so when i have a headache and i'm on the go i can just rub it on my little pressure points and i'll be good to go so that's definitely one of my favorites and the last one i wanted to talk about is cleaning another synergy blend and in this one is lavender lemongrass rosemary and tea tree all of those which are very um purifying tea tree is like one of the best oils lavender is one of the best oils um lavender tea tree peppermint um are like the one, like three of the top favorite oils are very popular so this scent on this one is amazing you can make this in a cleaner i use this in the diffuser in the diffuser when i clean just depends on the mood that i'm in so many options you can do with this but the scent of this one is like so awesome i love this one now we're getting into the beauty so first thing we're going to go with skincare um and sort of like lip care because i feel like your lips or skin First thing I want to talk about is a moisturizer. This summer, I thought I was leaning more towards combination oily or more so oily. But this winter, I'm telling you, I'm just combination. I guess it just depends on what's going on outside. Um, but summertime, I'm really oily and everything. All the other seasons around, I'm dry or combination. I have no idea. But this is the Cetaphil Oil Control Oil 
Control Moisturizer. It's the ac for acne prone skin. I didn't like it in the summertime. I'm going to tell you that straight up. But now, the rest of the year, favorite moisturizer ever. Um, summertime, I sort of can do like a half of a pump and I'm good. Um, but the rest of the year, I can do a pump to two pumps. And my face is good and moisturized. It doesn't leave me feeling sticky. It doesn't leave my skin tacky feeling. It doesn't leave it like overly shiny. That's why I like that this one is the oil control. So it doesn't look really weird. So I always do this before I prime my face. Especially in the winter time. Sweet mother of Jesus. <laughs> Next skincare item is going to be this Hans Cold Cream Cleanser. I got this in one of the little pinch me packages. They send you out free samples if you don't know about pinch me. I will link them below. But um I smell everything. Do y'all smell everything? But um they sent me that. You can get stuff from Pinch Me. You don't have to be an influencer. You don't have to have a YouTube account, whatever. They just send anybody free stuff. And um so they sent me this and this is a moisturizing deep cleanser and a makeup remover. If you haven't seen my um nighttime skincare routine this is included in that. I will link that above for you to watch if you hadn't already watched it. But um, this is the bomb. Like, this is my new favorite thing. I wasn't sure I was going to like this. But it gets off my makeup. But not only that. The way it makes my fin. My, my fin. My fin skill. <laughs> the way it makes my skin feel after I've washed it. So you put it on without any water. And you just massage it into your face. And you can take a damp um, washcloth and just wipe it all off. But my skin feels so moisturized when I get done. It is amazing. It takes my makeup off. Sometimes some mascara and eyeliner can be a little stubborn, but I'm telling you, this stuff is off the chain. If you want to see it in motion, definitely go watch my nighttime skincare routine video. The last two things are going to be lip care. So the first one is this EOS balm. I have so many different, I guess, flavors. I don't even... I don't even know. I got so many for Christmas and I already had two. So I have, I literally can leave one in like every room of the house. So if my lips are feeling some type of way, I can just pick it up and put it on. That's how many of them I have. So, um, this is one of my top favorite like lip balm products, but hands down, I got this, I think in an Ipsy package sometime at the beginning of last year. And I, y'all, I, I love chapstick. I love chapstick. I love lip balms, whatever, lip glosses. I just love keeping my lips nice and moisturized. And this chapstick by Lasting Smiles. If you've seen some of my previous makeup tutorials, I always put this on. This stuff is off the chain. It has peppermint oil in it. So it, it's an organic lip balm. <sighs> Y'all know I love essential oil and peppermint is like at the top of the list. And this is awesome. It gives your lips like a little bit of a tingling sensation. Not like one of those lip lip plumper lip glosses. Not like that. So don't feel like it's intense. It's just a itty bitty little tingle from the peppermint that's in it. I love it. it. It's It moisturizes my lips so much without making them feel like greasy. Like they're, they're sort of sliding all over the place. This is my favorite thing. I don't know where I'm going to get it. <laughs> it says... um. Every purchase helps fund cleft surgeries for children. So not only is it a bomb, bomb, bomb. <laughs> not only is it awesome, but they also give back. Um, and I think that's really awesome. But um, I'm going to, when I run out of this stuff, which is going to be a sad day, I'm going to look into getting some more of this because I'm telling you, this is my favorite chapstick of life. Okay, guys, we're getting, we're getting to the end. Chugga, 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 chugga. Makeup. So, the first thing is going to be this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Since I was struggling with being oily, I wanted to give this a try. And even though that I'm not so much oily right now because of the, the change of weather, this is still my favorite foundation of life. I got it early last year and I'm telling you, it is my... It is my favorite. I will wear it every single time I do my makeup. And I have a lot of other things to choose from. I do also like the L'Oreal True Match. But for some reason, I just love this one. I'm in shade 108 Caramel Beige, if you're wondering. Um, and it's like the perfect shade of life ever. <laughs> Next up, we're talking concealer. And these are color corrected concealers. These are from LA Girl. And these have changed my makeup game completely. I am so obsessed with this orange concealer y'all it is the best thing ever in life i also have the green one which i use for redness so if i'm having some breakouts or something and my skin's really red i can definitely pop on that green but the orange the orange if you suffer from dark circles and if your skin's on the darker side 
orange concealer is your best friend and another reason why i love these from la girls but because they have this brush on the end so it makes it really easy to apply without having to mess up another brush <laughs> y'all i'm telling you this is the best thing ever if you suffer from dark circles if you didn't get enough sleep the night before life life changer life changer next up we're going to be talking about a brow pomade this is the nyx tame and frame in the shade brunette I love this stuff. Um, I actually did purchase the Brow Wiz from Anastasia Beverly Hills last year. But this is more so my favorite because I have more control with this. And I can draw out my brow a little bit better. Um, it gets the job done. I love it. It's not clumpy. It's not hard to use. Definitely suggest this one. And the last makeup related item is going to be the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. They sent me a little sample size in one of my Ipsy packages and I had been meaning to try it but I didn't want to commit and pay that much money for mascara just in case it didn't do much of anything. So um, typically I just go for drugstore mascara but y'all this mascara is awesome. Just one coat and my lashes look ridiculously longer like a whole lot longer than they did before. So two coats yeah buddy so when i get done with this little sample i'm gonna go get me the big girl so i hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of my favorite products i'm looking at them scattered <laughs> all around me but i hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of my favorite products from 2016 definitely comment down below what was your favorite product I love trying new things and you guys always give the best suggestions so hit this like button if you enjoyed it don't forget to comment also don't forget to subscribe if you're new here don't leave stay with us we love you <laughs> hope you have a beautiful and blessed day and thanks for watching